Heyo, this is Ryo with Jinchuriki Cosplay Productions, and I'm coming at you with another tutorial. Today on one of my handcrafted props, CL's top hat. Uh, first I started off with just a huge big old sheet of cardboard, and I cut off a piece here, and then kind of bend it and just Make sure it's the size to go around your head. So when you wrap it around, it's going to be like, you know, it's going to fit. But you want there to be an overlap, too. And I'm going to show you how I did this. I don't know if you can see, there's a line here. And we're going to take it. We're going to bend it around. Then we're going to meet it to the corner, have this edge meet, meet this edge, and then hot glue it like this. Alright, I just got done hot gluing the piece together like I showed you. You see here's the line going down, this is meant at the corner. I would say that this is probably about two, yeah, it's about two and a half inches of a lean that I did. So this is just like edge to edge. This is just a piece of cardboard. And then once I put it on my head, you'll see, it'll do that nice top hat thing where it'll go like this. And then we just take this unevenness. To fix it up with some of these here scissors. I just kind of folded it in half and then trimmed it, made sure it was even. And I pretty much, I pretty much still have about about a seven inch length here. It's a little shorter now that I've trimmed, so always keep that in mind. I've got what I've done is I've taken the top. And I've traced around the top, I've taken the bottom, and I've traced around the bottom, and then I've given myself uh, about three and a half inches of, of this is what's going to be the, the brim of the hat. So we got the top, and we got the bottom, and then we just got to cut it out. Jabs, jabs, jabs. Yeah, anybody want to watch Glue Melt? I put the T.O.P. top on it. And I, I just shove it through this huge hole. Okay. Now to this point, underneath here, you're gonna have some, some overhang that we're gonna have to take care of, but this is gonna make it a lot better. You're gonna straighten it out. So, it's like, oh, all, all this unevenness? Well, we're gonna get rid of that, and then we're gonna have a nice hat. See it? You see the nice hat? It's starting to come along. And then, we take our glue-ins. We take our glue-ins, and we keep this in place. Okay? So I'm gonna make sure that I got this all right. All right, so as you guys can see, I've cut, I've glued it and cut it, and it looks pretty good. <laughs> what is uh, sewing? Yeah, I don't know what that is, sorry. Okay, so what you do is you just take take the top and then you trace it on your fabric and make sure you got a circle that's at least going to cover it. And then you want to give yourself a lot of room here because what I'm doing is I'm going to glue it because I don't know how to sew stuff.
Alright, now that I have completed placing the top piece of fabric on the top of my top hat, this pattern, I'm going to take this regular black fabric and I'm going to trace the bottom the circle and then I'm gonna cut it out and then I'll, we're gonna do something afterward too okay now make yourself a dotted line around the bottom where the hat goes in because we're not gonna cut on the dotted line we're gonna fold it in and I'll show you what I mean in just a moment Okay, see these solid lines? Cut the solid lines, like, like triangles. Keep it connected with the dots. So don't cut on the dots, cut on the lines. Alright, so now what I've been doing is I've been taking these strips of the same kind of material as I decided to put on the top. I'm putting it on the bottom like this. This is how I've been doing it. Just and I've done it all the way around. Okay. Now that I've finished all of this, I just slid over this piece. See? This is where those lines were cut out. There's the dotted line from before. That's just going to go on there like that. You take the edges and then you just fold them over. And that'll make it all clean. Okay, now I've just taken a rectangular piece of cloth and wrapped it around the body. And then, down where the dots were, I, uh, I didn't put glue, like, all over the bottom so it wouldn't get everywhere. But every once in a while I put a dot of glue just to fasten it down. Alright. And then, now with this... With this, what I have to do is I take a decorative ribbon and I just put it up, up the seam, which is what I had planned to do from the start, just to make it easy. But you'll see, now we have a nice little hat coming along here. Alright, to show you guys how I finished up, I just added my decorations. It shows like a black rose and a blue ribbon. And then on the out, on the inside here, I, uh, this actually duct tape, but I thought it was actually quite nice. And I just wanted some extra protection for my fabric, and I don't know, and it feels better, and looks nice, too, when you take it off, and it's like, oh, look at that. Bam. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, you'll notice that, like, it kind of waves, so I just, I just bended the cardboard inside of it, like this, I mean, up like this, to give it the wave that you usually see in the pictures, so yeah.